Hello my YouTube chums. Today I'd like to share this wonderful looking Optima branded tower PC from 1996. The case has some gorgeous lines and it is in great condition with very little yellowing. I picked it up back in June and I had some time this weekend to explore it further and share my findings with you. Now, Optima was an Australian PC manufacturer that was in business from 1989 through to 2008. They did well with consumers and commercial businesses and had contracts to supply the government and education sector and seemed to be a pretty solid brand in the Aussie market until the late 2000s when they finally went into administration and shut up shop. I've talked to quite a few Aussies in Sydney who remember the brand from school or work from that period. I came across this machine by pure luck whilst I was taking a walk one lunchtime in my area. There was a house clearance going on and I spotted a different computer, an immaculate HP desktop, in the skip outside the house. And as I was pulling it out, the son of the owner came out to see why I was digging through his garbage. And after we had a good chat and when I told him I collect vintage computers, he disappeared into the house and brought out this older Optima PC and gave them all to me for free, which was lovely. The Optima was a little dusty, but otherwise looks like it's been in good storage for the past 25 years or so and presents with very little yellowing. A simple wipe down with some baby wipes cleaned off the majority of the accumulated dust and it comes up quite nicely. The 91 year old owner of the PC apparently worked in IT and set up networks for the local TAFE colleges in Sydney back in the day. And hopefully you can see from the video that she took very good care of her personal computers. Now this is a unique tower case design and I haven't seen one like it before. To get into it there is a single screw at the top to take out and there are these two little plastic flaps to release the outside of the case which then nicely slides off. Inside there is a bit of dust around the CPU fan and a few other spots but not that bad considering the age. We have a nice Socket 7 motherboard with an Intel chipset and multiple ISA and PCI slots. It has an S3 Trio 64 video card, which is a fairly solid performer, and two banks of 32 megabyte EDO RAM. It has a three and a half inch floppy and has the cable connectors for a five and a quarter inch drive and is finished off with a 2.2 gigabyte Seagate hard disk. The nicest surprise about this PC for me was it, it set up with this elegant smart boot software with both Windows 95 and Windows 98 operating systems installed. The PC's applications and files are available in either OS once you're loaded up, which I think is very cool. We can see here the Optima logo in the system details, which I always like to see on branded PCs. And we can also take a look at the software the lady had. No games here, but more edutainment and productivity. One thing that caught my eye was this embroidery design software, which I farted about with for a little bit, as it's really got that Windows 3.1 slash early Windows 95 feel about it. There was even this original text file on the desktop where Optima had left a note suggesting that you create backups when you first got the PC. The only issue with this PC is that the laser in the CD drive seems to have failed. I've decided not to replace it as it's likely that I will be trading this with a Sydney collector who has memories of using these at school. It's a wonderful time capsule that has been carefully looked after and I am glad that I'm able to save it before it went to landfill. As always, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, feel free to take a look at my others on my channel. 
Let me know if you have any questions or comments and have a good one chums.